In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a mirror infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see here I have just created some different shapes and have added image to it. And I've just given some shining look here so that it looks like a, a more of a mirror. And when you click, the text will come to this right side of the slide. And I have just more created one more slide where I have just changed the image and one more where I have just put like this and when I click it will appear the image so you can just do if you want to do some animations or you can just simply without animation also you can do this uh, mirror infographic slide in PowerPoint add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background then go to insert shapes under basic shapes, I am going to select this one, which is the parallelogram. Just draw a parallelogram like this. Just increase the size and then you can see a small a point orange. So just reduce it. And shape outline. Make it no outline. And I'm going to rotate it. Just go to rotate and just say flip vertical and put it here i'm going to further reduce the size maybe this much size let me make this more slanting for this i'm just going to increase the width you can see here it's getting more slanting and then i can just reduce this one so like this i can make it more slanting if you want further you can just again increase the size and then again you can decrease it from here let me do it some more i'll just increase it more here and then reduce it i think this is perfect now select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and just bring it this side somewhat down and you can reduce the size and see it's becoming more bigger so I'm just going to again reduce the width so you can reduce the width maybe this much size and then I'm going to select one more, press Ctrl D and I'm going to put it here down exactly this place and for this I'm just going to reduce the height so again I can just select any of this, press Ctrl D and I am going to add to this side. Just give some good spacing there. And I'm going to add one more slide, uh, one more shape on the right side. Select this, press Ctrl D and put it here. So you can see here the shape is ready. So I'm just going to add some more uh, kind of lines. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Right mouse click, go to format shape. And I'm just going to select some pattern fills here. And let me just select some good patterns. And color also, I'm just going to use some dark colors. And reduce the width. For example, bring it here and send this to back. Format, send to back. And press Ctrl D. I'm just going to add one more here. This also send to back. And you can add some lines. For that, go to Insert, Shapes, Select Lines. And just draw some lines like this. Shape outline, you can just give some light 
or this gray color and send this to back also the next step is to add the image here for that i'm going to select this blue shapes a parallelograms and press ctrl g to group it or you can just simply right mouse click and say group also now i can just simply go to format shape and i'm going to select picture or text fill here by default i have just selected this image you can just go to insert and check from file and select any image you like and just say insert so this image got inserted here now if you want to give some background effect or something i can just simply select this press ctrl d to duplicate it you can see here i'm just going to say a solid fill say of white color and increase the transparency to 90 percent so it gives you kind of a a shadow effect i'm just going to select this go to format and just send to back sorry send to back and exactly place it give some gap you can see here just keep it like that and again if you want to give some more effect you can just go and give some shadow effect also which i'm just going to select this one so you got more shadow effect and some uh, reflection also now to give more mirror look we need to give some shining effect for that you can just simply go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape like this and select a gradient fill in the gradient fill i'm going to type select the radial and the direction you can just select which is uh, from center and i'm just going to select one of these and i'm going to make it white color you can see here this one white and this color this top i'm going to make it fully transparent you can see here like this and shape outline make it no outline and you can just go to effects you can make it some soft edges also just increase the count you can see here and i can just reduce the position also of this or a transparency level make it somewhat reduce the size and rotate it let me just increase a little bit and put it here you can see here there's some shining effect here press ctrl d add one more here again ctrl d just add three four I'm just going to add one more here so you can see here you've got some a shining effect uh, and it looks like a more of a mirror and then uh, the next or the last step is to add the text so I'm going to add text for that go to insert just say text box here and type your text And I'm going to use uh, some different font Adobe Gothic this one make it bigger I'm going to select a white font center align I can just keep it here and this text I can just give some different color to it 
and moreover you can just give this shining effect to the text also press ctrl d to duplicate it rotate it and put it here on the t ctrl d just add one more here again ctrl d add something here so you can see here we have just completed the slide and if you want to do some animation effect also you can uh, do it it depends uh, if you need to do an animation that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye